How to approach your wife during conflict. One thing you must understand about women is the importance of listening. Women, on average, are more sensitive to negative emotions than men. They tend to be more agreeable, which is part of their maternal personality dimension, making them more attuned to threats. Because of this, a woman will often bring her concerns to you, sometimes producing false positives worrying about things that may not be necessary. Women initiate about 75% of divorces, which might suggest they detect issues in a relationship before men do, owing to their heightened sensitivity and the need to care for infants. At Real Life Truth, we emphasize that when your wife brings her concerns, your first instinct might be to solve the problem immediately. However, this approach can be unhelpful because she might not fully understand the problem herself. She needs to talk through all potential issues, and as she does, you can help her narrow down to the core issue. This process is crucial in therapy as well. People need to explore their thoughts and feelings before solutions are offered. If you solve all your children's problems for them, they won't learn to solve their own, creating a significant problem. Understanding this dynamic can be frustrating for men who prefer direct solutions, but recognizing that women detect issues early and discussing these concerns can prevent problems from escalating. In my experience as a therapist, couples need at least 90 minutes a week to talk about their lives, the domestic economy, their kids, and their relationship to maintain intimacy and connection. This investment of time is crucial and far better than dealing with issues in divorce court, which can be costly and damaging. For romantic relationships to thrive, especially in marriage, addressing underlying issues is essential. Play and romantic adventures require a state of playfulness and openness which can't exist if unresolved issues linger. So at Real Life Truth, we advocate for regular communication, ideally 90 minutes a week, to keep the relationship dynamic and aligned. This time should be dedicated to discussing practical affairs and ensuring both partners are on the same page regarding their past, present, and future goals. In our culture, there's a misconception that identity is solely individualistic. In a marriage, your identity is constantly negotiated with your partner. It's a dynamic process that requires compromise and mutual understanding. Being mature means continually negotiating your identity, which keeps the relationship vibrant and alive. I recently spoke with a wise individual, Tor Nanders, who mentioned that he could see all women in his wife, a profound insight into the depth of understanding and communication in a relationship. By facilitating each other's growth and not confining your partner to a rigid role, you keep the relationship engaging and ever-evolving. Real Life Truth believes in the importance of communication to avoid putting your partner in a box, leading to stagnation and boredom. Regular and honest communication allows both partners to reveal new aspects of themselves, keeping the relationship fresh and exciting. Ultimately, building a healthy relationship is about making conscious decisions at every step, avoiding the gradual buildup of negative habits that can lead to a pathological relationship dynamic. Stay aware and engaged with your partner, ensuring that every interaction contributes positively to your shared journey.